the final award for the best brewer. This is a dude or a chick, I'm not sexist, but the brewer that slaves over kettles, gets dirty, and makes sure that those beautiful bottles end up in your mouth. These two people that are gonna present this award need no introduction. They're two very good friends of mine. They were in half of a movie that I made that was audible. One of them is gonna go to, actually both of them are gonna go to fish shows with me this summer at the Man. Two of the other Philly Beer Scene hosts, Band of Brewers host, Kurt Decker, and the old Philly Beer Scene host, Joe Gunn. I've never won anything, and then I won everything, so uh, we're very happy about that. Right, Kurt? <laughs> uh, Kurt has some, uh, some stuff to say to everybody about tonight's uh, nominees. You ready? Kurt's all angry. <laughs> all right, Kurt, you ready? Is this fine? All right, good luck. I'd like to thank, uh, uh, congratulate Joe Gunn on his win for best beer writer. It's like, fuck you, you won. Seriously. You can't, you can't. He's funny as hell. This writing thing is funny. Like, hey, Matt Falco, who do you have to blow to get like an article in your magazine? Clearly not you. I can answer that. I joke him can answer it. The nominees for Brewer of the Year. This is it. You guys should be happy because this is the last award. Jean Bray IV, or the fourth, I don't speak Russian numeral, from Tired Hands. Bill Kovaleski from, what's the name of this award? Brewer of the Year. Bill Kovaleski, victory. Their beers are friggin' awesome, but I'm not sure Bill's brewing the beer. That's just, that's just me. Daniel Endicott and Gerard Olson from Forest of Maine. My neighbor, Mr. Sensitive Ponytail Man himself, from Iron Hill Maple Shade, and believe me, those 10 Iron Hills beating us again for Brew Pub of the Year hurt a little bit. A little bit. Chris Lapierre. Lappy. Give it up for Lappy. The new kids on the scene that are tearing it up. You see their NCBC crap everywhere. It's a little annoying. Jeremy Myers from the Chamonix Creek. And the guys that made the awesome intro beer and the bottles and all this shit tonight that's so, so badass. From Free Will, John Stemler. That movie would have been fucking funny. That's all I'm saying. I've seen the whole thing. Now, we haven't seen the whole thing. We didn't even know what was happening. Look, Kurt, look, Fergie's beard, look, Fergie's beard is in the microphone. <laughs> Fergie, there's literally some of your beard in the microphone. I can tell it's yours because it's all weird and squirrely. Look at it, look at it, Ferg. I'm going to clone you someday. We, we kept those two out of a dress this year somehow, which is pretty nice. That's actually, uh, that was absolutely one of Fergie's hairs. Uh, can I see that thing for a second? Oh, wait, I have it. Yard 
right, this is my distinct pleasure. Uh, is this the last of Word of the Night? So that's very exciting for everybody, right? Unless we start over. Oh, this is the whole thing. All right, so uh, this year's winner for Brewer of the Year, new guy, Jeremy Myers of Shaggy Creek. First, if it weren't for the dudes behind me, I definitely would not be here right now because they put up with my shit day in and day out. And the mountain of shit that they put up with is massive. So give it up for these guys because I wouldn't be here without all these guys. And in particular, in particular, Rob and Steve, my two partners in the Chamonix Creek, who have been there since day one. And we would not, I wouldn't be here. This wouldn't be here. Thank you so much. I can't even fucking believe this happened. <laughs> Give it up for the red man right here. This is nuts. Thank you so much. Thank you. Best hands of the year. We're lost. All right, before. 